I'm Tina. I'm Ross. And today we have a fabulous selection of Fox's biscuits that were sent to us from our very kind viewer, Richard, RTHOC71 on YouTube. So we feel very special because when we did the unboxing, we had a lot of British viewers that said, we've never seen that flavor before because he did send us several limited edition and seasonal flavors of Fox's biscuits. So we're really looking forward to that. <laughs> yes, we are. Thank you. Where do we even start? We have the crunch creams that are in the rolls. And then we have the ones that are in this packaging. A few of those are limited edition. You want to start with the crunch creams? Sure. We've had cr a few crunch creams before. Right. I think. Or maybe just one. I don't know. I don't know if it was the last time we were at Touch of Britain when the store employees offered us one of these. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think we bought a package of it because I hadn't seen. Can I do that for you? Yes, please. <laughs> I, Foxes isn't one that we see very often. Yeah. I'm I mean, just, I think only in Touch of Britain. I don't think we've ever seen that brand in Cost Plus World Market. And the one that we were given, I think, was chocolate orange. And then you think the, it was this one? Possibly. Possibly. I, I can't say for sure. I, I know that it, it definitely had chocolate in it. Okay, you ready? Oops. So these are... These are double, double chalk. chalk. Double chalk. So it looks like chocolate biscuit with chocolate cream inside. And it's not just crunchy. It's really crunchy. <laughs> okay. You ready? All right. There's the close up. Good to have chocolate and chocolate. I really like the filling on these. It, um, mm -hmm. There's something about our sandwich cookies here where sometimes the filling is just this sweet, pasty, <laughs> where this is more creamy. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. We were so excited to dig into these. We then we realized the error of our ways. We had not brewed a cup of tea before we sat down. Yes. I have my holiday one out now. And I have my stormtrooper. And also, <laughs> I know I'm going to hear about it. <laughs> we will hear about it. All the struggling with the opening the package. The initial attempt to <laughs> get it open and there was the little red tear and, here. And I know our viewers have mentioned that before and we already forgot. It's been a while since we had the crunch cream. I, I know we're going to hear about it. Because we have had Fox's <laughs> biscuits before and hey, there's a little, you know, little tear here indicator. You know, you're, you're fussing and feeling right. Sip a little easy tear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My only excuse is, I, well, I'm just overwhelmed with seven different variety of Fox's <laughs> biscuits here. I just didn't see it, but now we know. Moving forward, we will use the tear here. So let's move ahead with the chocolate orange. Okay. Now that you know how to professionally open these, it's on that other end. I know. I was just <laughs> noting real crunchy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? I tore here and the thing broke. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was expecting it just to go right off. I was too. Okay. To prove, you know when it says tear here? <laughs> it really did tear there. <laughs> So as much as I would like to um, make use of that little red strip. Yeah. 
I think I see it. Maybe I don't. Okay, Tina, I think you got the broken one first. So, I'm going to... Oh, thank you. Yeah, my other one was a little bit broken. I guess that probably happens to the end ones a lot. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this one kind of has a lighter colored cream to it. It does. that lovely chocolate orange flavor so I guess it's just the chocolate biscuit with the orange filling yeah these are good I guess I'll try dunking it I have a feeling I'm gonna be getting a lot of little crumbs in the bottom here that's nice though I mean it softens the biscuit right up mm-hmm That flavor combination is so nice. I like that. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with chocolate on chocolate. Oh, no. We are big chocolate lovers, but that addition of that orange cream, very nice. All these years I went by never having a Terry's <laughs> chocolate orange. I think the combination that oh, it sounds kind of odd. And then to try it, oh, these are really good. Yeah, and you were just introduced to Terry's Chocolate Orange last year, mm -hmm. I think. And, and it had been years since I had done it, actually. Yeah. I feel deprived to have not had that <laughs> many years before. Well, that's thanks to my Nana that he used to get them every year for Christmas. Mm -hmm. All time saw them in the store, just kept walking by, and not anymore. <laughs> so next up, we have Salted Caramel. And this is a limited edition flavor. So let us know if you have seen this or tried it. No. <laughs> I got the secret. No, oh, you showed me. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, that one's a little crumbly. Oh, uh, immediately that smell. Yeah. Oh, that oh yeah, like... very sweet. Mm. That smells fantastic. So here is what the salted caramel one looks like. Oops. Mm. That's what it smells like. One of your candles. It does. Yeah, one of my fall time candles. It does. That I've been burning. It smells fantastic. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I get a lot of that salted caramel flavor in the filling there. That's nice. Very nice. Definitely on the sweet side. Mm -hmm. Typical for caramel. No complaints whatsoever. <laughs> well, I guess this would be the um, cookie of biscuit of choice for those that like their salty sweet combination. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking this one for dunking too. Something about mm. dunking it with this flavor of biscuit. Yeah, that goes nicely. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm glad we're trying these now as adults. Because if I had these when I was a kid, <laughs> there would be no self control. <laughs> the whole package would just be gone. Yeah. One more crunch cream left. Looking forward to this one, sticky toffee pudding. Mm. And this one says seasonal edition. So what is the difference between seasonal edition and limited edition? I assume both are available for a limited time. Or does this only come out at a certain season? You see it at that season every year? That's what I'm assuming. Is limited edition more limited? I don't know. You'll have to let us know in the comments what the difference is. Yes. Is limited edition more limited? Mm. 
There you go. Okay, you're just showing me up with the uh, mastering <laughs> of the pull string. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, it smells really sweet, too. Yes, it does. So, yeah, this is something else new for us this year, I think, was trying, well, that auntie's version of sticky toffee pudding. Yeah. Those little individual ones that you microwave. That's the closest we've gotten because you really don't see sticky toffee pudding here, but we've become big fans. Although I did look it up on Trader Joe's website and apparently Trader Joe's used to offer one. Used to. Used to before we knew about it. And yeah. I think it, they discontinued it maybe three, four years ago. And you can see all the comments. Please, please bring this back. You need to bring this back. It was so delicious. So That's the biggest bone I have to pick with Trader Joe's is... You know what I'm going to say. Getting rid of. Shrimp toast. Yeah. We, Getting rid of good items. Yeah. yeah. We absolutely loved the shrimp toast. I got rid of it. Couldn't think of any complaints. It was just, uh, yeah, it was hard to mess up. It was delicious. Yeah. Okay. No more. No more <laughs> All right. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That was nice too. Not quite as sweet as the salted caramel, I don't think. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> a bit no. more subtle. Mm hmm. Mm. <laughs> Goes well with the tea. Mm hmm. Yeah, the last two I think go really well with the tea. Really nice selection. Yeah. I'm getting crumbs everywhere though. <laughs> hmm. Richard, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Excellent selection. Tina, I'm gonna ask you the difficult question of, after trying these four fine items, which was your favorite? Oh, that is tough. Mm. I can make me do it at the very end too. <laughs> for now, we're just comparing the crunch creams. So. Depends on my mood. <laughs> uh, just for now, the crunch creams. What would you say was your favorite crunch cream? I'm thinking maybe the chocolate orange. You know how much I love the chocolate and orange flavor. Yes. That might be my favorite. Although I really am enjoying the salted caramel and sticky toffee pudding. Chocolate's just always like a classic, but um, those two were, were fun flavors. How about you? I'm going to go with, first off, all were very good. No complaints whatsoever. That was a joy to try each one. <laughs> but as far as I think the favorite of the four would be the salted caramel. Okay. Just, oh, it, just the, the moment you opened it, yeah. I could just smell that Those were really scent. nice, mm -hmm. yeah. And second place would be chocolate orange. Yeah, we both love that chocolate orange. We do. That goes nicely with tea. So no complaints whatsoever. All right. So the other three we have in some different packaging. So next up, we'll try Fox's Favorites Jam and Cream. And I'm trying to remember. Mr. Sunny sent us some jam biscuits. I can't remember if this was one of them or he sent us a lot of things from M&S and I feel like there was maybe something from M&S as well. I, I feel like I'm getting them all confused now but all I know is anything with like raspberry jam and the jam and cream have always been big winners yes. for us. Agreed. So definitely looking forward to this one. Reminds me of a jam shortbread, but it does have a little bit of cream under there. Mm. <laughs> yep, don't get tired of these. <laughs> Never get tired of these. Love that raspberry jam in there. With uh, the cream center. Mm -hmm. 
and mm. the taste of the shortbread is the combination of all three. Mm -hmm. The biscuit part is so light and delicate. Mm. Mm -hmm. They just get that fantastic raspberry jam flavor. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Again. I had these when I was a kid, I wouldn't have any control. <laughs> I wouldn't have any self control. Mm. I love those. I feel like everything with the raspberry jam, I've loved them all. Yeah. Agreed. Ah. And uh, now, you recently had the Percy Pig. The Percy oh, Pig. Those were so good too. Uh, raspberry biscuit. And it also had the cream as well, I think. It did. Now, do you remember after having that and trying this? It would have to be more of a side by side comparison. It would probably have to be side by side. I, I think we did make the comparison to Jammy Dodgers. We thought they were a little better than Jammy Dodgers. Not that we don't, we love Jammy Dodgers too. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, like compared to a Jammy Dodger, I think maybe the biscuit part is, is nicer on these. The Percy Pig ones were good too. The biscuit part had a little flavoring to it. Yes. You said it was Percy flavored, whatever flavor that is. So that was really delicious too. It's it's a hard comparison. I'd probably have yeah. to do them side by side. And yeah, they're both delicious. Oh, those are good. And next up we have another limited edition flavor. I'm sorry, I see crumbs flying all over. These are Fox's fabulous chocolatey orange rounds, orange flavored shortcake biscuits coated in smooth melt chocolate. And you do love your milk chocolate. Yeah. Okay, so the biscuits themselves are flavored in this one. Mm -hmm. Try opening. Try, try opening. Redeem yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> no pressure there, honey. <laughs> Where's the open here? I'm not seeing the open here. Yeah, I don't know if these have one. I, I just opened the, the end of it like a regular package. I think a viewer mentioned these ones in the black package. We were wondering about this, this matted black package because it looks different. That there are other ones that have the chocolate coated biscuits in, in other flavors. So. Mm -hmm. Take a whiff of that. Oh yeah, I can smell that orange. Close up of it. Let's see the in text box. So, oh, and I noticed that it has, the little hole is where the O is. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, mm. once again, it reminds you of those Terry's chocolate oranges. Absolutely no complaints. Mm hmm I like that you get a nice amount of chocolate. Yeah. Nice amount of chocolate. And the chocolate. Smooth and creamy. Hmm. That's very good. Mm. Mm. Try to decide what I would prefer, the mm. chocolate orange crunch creams or these. They're that's, both really good. That's a very tough call. This, if you're really wanting something chocolate coated, mm -hmm. is nice. Those feel looking more for the crumbly the biscuit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you wanted to dunk, maybe you'd, you'd choose the others. I I don't know that I'd dunk this because the chocolate would all melt off. Right. So I guess you're saying it depends on your mood. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, those are so good. Yeah. Um, when I think of some of the cookies, biscuits that we have here that just do not compare to um, what we've been trying right now. Now, one of our other viewers mentioned these coming also in a coffee flavor. Maybe that was another limited edition flavor, which also sounds very good. Coffee and chocolate is a wonderful combination. So let us know what other flavor combinations do they have? I assume there's just your standard plain biscuit covered in chocolate. But it sounds like they have these fun limited edition flavors too. That sounds fantastic. Yeah. yeah. All right. So last one we have <laughs> here, Fox's Fabulous again. 
These are Millionaire's Cookies. So we had those Millionaire Bites. Now those were Tesco, right? I believe we're from Tesco. Those were so delicious that we're... Yeah, what stands out to me is when we have them and they almost tasted like they were homemade. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, those were sent to us by um, Roland. I yeah. believe. They were fantastic. Thank you, Roland. <laughs> yes, thank you to all of our very, very generous viewers that have sent us items. And we're just, we're so overwhelmed that, you know, last year when people said, you should get a P.O. <laughs> box, people will send you things with a, mm, yeah, sure, we'll give sure. it a try. Why would anybody send us anything? And then we just started getting some boxes and it's been so much fun to try these items. And so thank you to everyone that has sent us items. Yes, thank you very much. Now. And also thank you to all of our viewers that, I know we have regular viewers that comment they like our videos and we really appreciate that too. It really helps our channel when you like and comment. So big thank you to all of our viewers. Yes, and thank you for the feedback. Yeah. All right, so these are big and these are the cookie. Oops. Well, we're Actually, this is, I, was, I was thinking about splitting it in half. It's already done for us. So <laughs> there you go, because it's starting to feel a little bit full and these are on the larger side. Yeah. Um, Sugar overload and and I don't, do you no. remember exactly what's in the millionaire? Nothing but sweet goodness, honey. <laughs> mm, it smells really good. It says cookies with milk chocolate chunks and caramel suitable for vegetarians. All right. Okay. I have a feeling you're going to be dunking this. Yeah, I'll try it Boop. plain first, and then I'll dunk it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mm. I think this would be perfect for dunking. Yeah, those are nice. A lot of sweetness again from the caramel. Yes. Mm. I wish we had foxes here. And don't get me wrong, we have some nice cookie mm -hmm. biscuit brands available but these are so good wonderful flavor mm. the caramel and the chocolate yeah this is yeah mm, top notch really good mm. Mm. <laughs> Now I'm really full. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a while before I ask you, what would you like for dinner? <laughs> yeah. We're going to have to uh, just digest. It's probably going to be a light dinner, I think. Yeah. Yeah, we're having this as an afternoon treat. These are... Richard, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, a sincere thank you. It is so nice to be able to try something that we just, we can't get here. We can't get here easily. Or at all. Mm -hmm. uh, foxes we just don't see in stores. Unless yeah. maybe if we go to our Touch, Touch of Britain store. But they would not probably typically carry all these Solid limited days. edition and seasonal editions. You know, maybe they might get one in here or there, but it's very hit and miss there. So right. definitely appreciate being able to try some of these limited and seasonal editions. So much fun. And especially when some of our viewers were saying, I have to track those down. I haven't seen them before. So it makes us feel really special that we got to try these here. Yeah, really enjoy that feedback. Yeah. So now out of all <laughs> these that we tried, do you have a favorite? I could say, depends on my mood. Mm -hmm. Who would I sound like? You would sound like me. I would sound like <laughs> you. Uh, if I'm wanting something that I know I'm going to be dunking, it's that original toss-up I had before mm -hmm. with the salted caramel that we have and all the salted caramel crunch creams. Second would be the chocolate orange crunch creams. And if I'm just wanting something, I'm really craving chocolate. Chocolate's as far as milk chocolate. Mm -hmm. I go with these wonderful gems here. And what really stands out to me when I'm eating these is the cream center. It really is a creamy center, unlike mm -hmm. some of the biscuits, cookies we get here. 
where didn't like Oreos. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember when I was a kid in school, and I remember hearing that that horrible rumor. Oh, you know what the center of an Oreo is? It's whale fat mixed with sugar. I did have never heard that. You never heard that. No. One. I think every kid I <laughs> growing up ever heard that too. And I don't care. They're sweet, and <laughs> I'm gonna shove them down anyway. <laughs> but, but what I'm getting at is, there's something about on the uh, lesser expensive. Uh, Lesser cost, lesser quality sandwich cookies, biscuits that we have here. That cream center is not creamy, it's pasty. And it just does not compare to the cream centers in these. So that's my opinion and I'm sticking with it. <laughs> what about you? What was your favorite? Maybe again, depends on my mood. But you know, I keep coming back to these jam ones. There is something about those. I think the dangerous thing is, though, <laughs> they do seem a little bit more on the light side compared to others. And the dangerous thing is I could keep eating and eating these. <laughs> and pretty soon the package is empty. Yes. But yeah, there's just something about the jam with that very light biscuit that is so good. Very good, yeah. So yeah, I, I might just come back to that. Just kind of the right level of, of sweetness in that jam. Really enjoy that. But if you were craving chocolate? If I was craving chocolate, I might go for these. The chocolate covered ones. Okay. I think you said the same thing. Yeah. All good in their own way. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right again, Richard, thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Richard. This is so much fun, and this is only a portion of what Richard sent us. So right. we have more biscuits to try. We just, we gathered together all the foxes, like, okay, this makes sense. We'll try all the foxes together, but we have other biscuits. We've got Kit Kats. We've got other <laughs> chocolate <laughs> treats. So you're yeah. gonna be seeing several more videos to come. Yeah. yeah. But again, Richard, <laughs> fantastic selection. Thank you. Yeah, so let us know down in the comments if you have some favorite flavors of Fox's biscuits. Just let us know that. Be curious to hear. So if you like food reactions and food tastings and food unboxings, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when we publish a new video. So until next time, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.